Our admissions team is eager um, <laughs> to meet with you. So please reach out. Uh, we would love to meet you at a college fair or here on campus. You can also visit our website, emish.edu slash meet the staff um, <laughs> and reach out to us. Please don't hesitate. And we're just excited um, for the opportunity for you to come and visit us here at EMU. Aww. Welcome everyone to Ask Admissions. We are here at EMU, Eastern Michigan University. I'm here with Dr. LaJoyce Brown, who is the Director of Admissions. Thank you for doing this. Absolutely, thank you for this being is, here. This is uh, really cool, this episode's gonna be awesome. I believe that, you absolutely, believe? <laughs> yes. Awesome, so let's awesome. start off um, big picture. I think there's lots of specifics I want to kind of run through, but okay. I think the biggest thing is like, how does, what's the best ways to learn about EMU and the admissions process? So like big picture of whether I've watched this episode, you know, grew up right next to, and you have students that are right next door, you have students from halfway around the world. Absolutely. What's the first thing that they should do to kind of learn a little bit more? That's a really good question. The first thing I would say is for them to visit our website emish.edu slash admissions. That would be the best way because we have a variety of opportunities for students to come to our campus to learn more about us. We have our Explore Eastern Open Houses. Those are in the fall and in the springtime so that they can come on our campus, meet with faculty, staff, tour the campus, yeah. um, tour the resident halls and things like that. We also offer tours during the week as well as on selected Saturdays. And those tours are led by current students yeah, and so they really get the students perspective of what it's like to be a student here at EMU. On our website there's a lot of resources and information about all of our majors and things of that nature. I also want to mention that we may uh, be at a college fair or perhaps at a high school so also check with your school counselor to see when EMU will be in your area. Absolutely great great. What makes a competitive applicant? That's a very good question. <laughs> a competitive applicant is a student that has done a variety of things to show that they will be successful here at EMU. And that includes doing very well in their academics. So we look at students based on their six semesters and beyond of mm -hmm. high school. Um, here at EMU, uh, students do not need a test score. We are test optional. Um, students do not need to write an essay or letters of recommendation. So it truly is that academic record mm -hmm. of what they've done. And so we encourage them to do well. Um, students can apply on our website, uh, emish.edu slash admissions. We're also on the common application. There is a $35 application fee, but we do offer fee waivers as well. So we just encourage students to apply. Yeah, and you're making it as easy yeah, as possible. Yeah, it's so Come easy. On, just yeah. apply and let us make those fair admissions decisions. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, the other thing is you have rolling admissions. We do. So can we just, I, I, you know, imagine someone's never heard that term before, <laughs> right? It just, what does that mean? And how that's because the big benefit when that happens. So. Absolutely. So that's a very good question. So rolling admissions means that we accept applications on a rolling basis throughout the year. So students can apply at any time. Our application goes live August 1st of every year and they can continue to apply. We don't have a deadline so they can literally apply at any time. And then once they apply, they usually hear from us within two weeks. Oh, two weeks. That's mm -hmm. great. How great is that? How great is that? What about some advice, you know, for parents? They're helping their students in the admissions process. It's, uh, it's funny. I was just dealing with this the other day with one of my younger nieces. Okay. And you... And I think I would love you just a big picture. Like, what's the best way to start thinking about it and navigating it? Because can I tell you what I was telling my older sister what's and my that? niece <laughs> I, that I've learned? And so I'd be curious of what you say. Start early. Like, That's honestly, the key. if there's anything I learned, like going through this process with my niece, I called my old sister and I was like, just get this thing rolling because yes. they're anyway. But I don't want to speak yes, for you. Yes, that is so true. 
starting earlier is the key. And I must say, I'm also a parent of a high school senior. And That's he, coming here. Yes, he's coming <laughs> yeah. here in the fall and he'll be majoring in computer science. And so one of the things that he did was he came to EMU for a campus tour and he was able to meet with a department head for his major computer science. And that visit really that fueled him. Huge. Yes, it was very huge because he was able to get a tour of the computer lab um, for computer science. He talked to the faculty to learn about internship opportunities, the curriculum. And so after that visit, he went home. He said, Mom, I need to sign up for a coding class so that when I get to, when I get to EMU, I already know some of the curriculum things. And so he's really passionate about that. So I would encourage parents to just support their students along the way, visit campus with the students as well, and then advocate for them as well. Yeah, it's a great point, mm -hmm. you know, because there's yeah. probably nothing like if, especially whether it's a computer science or something like a chemistry or somewhere where you really know what you want to go for. Right. Getting to meet that department head, understanding, hey, what do I need to get in here? And Absolutely. how do I best prepare for that? That's yes. great advice. I feel bad. I apologize, Dr. Rob, because I feel like I asked you a question and then I answered my own answer. Before oh, I no, you're fine. Off. I no, could add you're something else, yes, too. Please. I would encourage parents to talk to their students about getting involved in extracurricular activities, sports, uh, service opportunities where they can really develop those soft skills, time management skills, because those types of skills will be very beneficial for them to be successful in college. Yeah, that's great. Is there anything we missed here? Anything we should add? Well, I want to say that our admissions team is eager um, <laughs> to meet with you. So please reach out. Um, we would love to meet you at a college fair or here on campus. You can also visit our website, emish.edu slash meet the staff um, <laughs> and reach out to us. Please don't hesitate. And we're just excited um, for the opportunity for you to come and visit us here at EMU. Oh, thank you so much. And I think that's a this last piece here is an important message. And we say this a lot. This is, you know, this is your job and you yes. love doing it. Your Absolutely. son's coming here, yes. right? Yes, yes. And so I just think it's, you know, if you're out there, you're interested, whether you watch the college tour, heard about EMU from a friend, have always known about it, first time you've heard about it, whatever it is, like starting that communication is key because they can help guide all these next pieces of the puzzle that you may be interested in. So that's absolutely right. Yeah, this is awesome. Thank you so much. Well, yes. I was going to hug it out. Oh, I was yes. going to hug it out. We'll shake hands too. Anyway, thank you so much for doing You're this. Welcome. Spend a little bit of time with everyone. Um, make sure you watch the episode if you haven't yet. This is an amazing institution. Everyone's so friendly here. We've been having they a blast filming yes. the episode. So awesome. All right, we'll see you next time, everyone.